Hello good people and friends on YouTube, this is Sean with Future View Gaming and I bring you some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. Now before I get into telling you what's going on with this gameplay and what happens during this game, I'm going to respond to a comment I got from a subscriber and a guy who has a really awesome channel, Sinister Skater. And I just want to say, dude, I'm going to try and take your advice. I'll definitely start capitalizing my um, titles. I know I have a bad habit of being lazy on my grammar, but, you know, it happens. And as far as cutting down the length on my videos, for the montages, I could probably do that. I probably should. I could get more videos out of them if I did, but on the Battlefield gameplay, a lot of the times your minimum gameplay is anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Usually it's longer than 15 minutes, but I do have to cut it down because my limit is 15 minutes, unfortunately. But, yeah, I'm probably going to start doing shorter ga shorter matches. I'll try and find the 100 ticket servers. That way I can just run through the enemy team real quick and hopefully say what I got to say. But Battlefield, like, you know, my tactical advantage series where I speak on different classes, different maps, different gun mode or game modes and different gun loadouts. That one, if I'm doing like a match review, then I'll have to play the full match just to let people see exactly how it plays. But yeah, anyways, hopefully I'll, I can look forward to more feedback from you, man. I always appreciate it. And I'm definitely going to check out more of your channel this weekend. Now that I actually have some time off work. Alright. Now, back to the gameplay. Modern Warfare 3. Game that I kind of have a huge amount of distaste for. Now, this video is real shaky. The way I'm moving my gun around, I'm kind of doing a headbanging type deal. And that didn't happen in the real game. The theater mode was glitching. But anyway. What are my problems with this game? With Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, it's a long list, I have to say. I dislike it because mod controllers can completely break a game for you. You can buy a controller that practically plays it, and I think that's just absurdly retarded. And you have these guys who are horrible players, but they think they're good because of the capabilities of the controllers, the macros they can program on them, the rapid fire, quick knife, and all that shit. These are just real cheap tactics, and they're for bitches. Another thing I don't like... This game highly rewards camping. Like, you'll see this guy in here sitting in the corner. Yep. Auto kill. <laughs> now, that's an asshole move, and I really dislike campers. And a lot of people do that because they can camp out to your attack choppers and stuff. And as you see, this enemy team has no chances to keep these attack choppers up. Why? I have a team that pretty much devotes themselves to taking out any air support that an enemy team has, which is really good. Even if I don't play with the best players on the, in the world, these guys are really great because they do what they can to support their team. Now, another thing I really dislike about Modern Warfare 3 is even with great internet, every lobby just seems horribly lagged out at times. And I cannot stand that. That it just annoys me. Like, if I fire a shot and I hit the guy directly, I expect to get a hit marker. I don't expect to get that, like, just what the fuck, I missed completely type deal. It's really annoying. Now, granted, you know, yes, the price you pay with what this game has, which is the, um, the hosting system, the hosting lobby system where you have a host that has X amount of internet ping and you have lag compensation on these lobbies where everyone's internet is dumbed down to a certain person's net. And that is just horrible because people who pay for good internet have their internet dumbed down to the little bitch boy who is stealing McDonald's Wi-Fi to play Modern Warfare. And... I'm not sure if they're going to do anything about that in Black Ops 2. Like, right there, I really should have killed that guy. But, yeah. As I said, I don't think they're going to do anything about it in Black Ops 2. So, we'll get to look forward to more lag compensation. But, I think Treyarch will definitely pull it together. I have always said the biggest problem I, ha I think this game has is 
It was designed by two separate studios who picked up on the game after it was already partially made. Sledgehammer, they fail. I'm not even sure what games they make, but after playing this game, they horribly fail. The new Infinity Ward are terrible. I mean, the game could have been such a good game. I love survival mode. Chaos mode is really awesome, by the way. But they really failed. And from release, this game was really horrible. Like, on release day, you couldn't find a match. But when you found the match, it was beautiful. The game ran so damn smooth, and I was loving it. Then you could find matches quicker, but everybody was lagged out so horribly. And that was never really repaired. Then you had the Call of Duty Elite that was completely fucked over. Like, they completely dropped the ball with the release on it. And they were like, oh, we didn't expect this many people to get the Elite membership. Dude, it has the Call of Duty name on it, and it's something different. What the fuck were you thinking when you decided you were going to limit... Your no, that wasn't unexpected. That was some dumb jackass who didn't want to do his job completely, and they really half-assed it. That's the way I see it. Now, I know I might be being overly critical, but, you know, what the fuck ever, dude? Do your fucking job. That's what you're paid for. I hear all the time, they only get one year on these games. They get two. You have two different studios that make Call of Duty, and I don't believe they cross over too much. Otherwise, Treyarch would have picked this one up, but now they were working on Black Ops 2. And Treyarch, I have a lot of faith in. Black Ops, to me, was a really good game if you could get into a lobby that wasn't so lagged out. And I really look forward to Black Ops 2, especially the return of my beloved Tomahawk. Yes, I saw the video with the new Tomahawk in it. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It gave me a huge boner. <laughs> so, I'm like, yeah, awesome. Tomahawk's back. Dolphin dives back. I'm looking forward to that. Two of my favorite game mechanics. And two that weren't really big game changers, but they were fun. They made the game fun. I could do more stupid shit on Black Ops than I can on Modern Warfare. And I look forward to that. So, I am looking forward to Black Ops 2. I will be doing some gameplays on it. But if, it, if, the, if Treyarch can't step up and do good where Infinity Ward failed, then my channel will go back to being devoted to Battlefield almost exclusively again. Which, it's not going to change too much. I love Battlefield. Battlefield is definitely my shit. And I'm really hoping to bring some more people to trying it at least and giving it an actual try by doing my videos to people I know who play Call of Duty hopefully they'll watch the Battlefield videos and they'll be like hey Battlefield looks pretty fucking cool and they'll give it a shot because it is a really fun game to me so yeah anyways this is where as you see we're down by what 11 kills and they're at 7200 now I bring us to within two kills of winning. If I could have gotten two more kills with this Reaper, we would have won. And this would have been, to me, like, this would have become my all-new favorite beast mode, like, Call of Duty type shit. Because of it being such a huge comeback. It's an almost comeback, and I do enjoy it. But anyways, I don't have much time left on this video, and I've said pretty much everything I had to say. So, if you have any requests, and if there's anything you'd like to see, leave a comment. I look forward to the feedback. Subscribe if you haven't. Like, dislike. Either way, let me know what you think about the video, and have a good one, YouTube.